here's the thing, everybody. This is our tennis court. Now, as everything at Matt Britton, it's done with as little expense as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Me, do I play tennis? Now, listen, I used to play a good game of tennis, but since I founded yoga, and yoga is like my everything, I'm always worried that I'm going to injure my arms. Mm -hmm. And because I do so many handstands, you've probably seen me handstanding in front of the house. I just, that's my everything, so I don't play as much anymore. Okay. But I will yeah. clean it. I will clean it. So Susie's going to show me how to use them. Listen, I've done the pressure washing, power washing before with Landa in the pool. Yeah. And then William, our 17-year-old, um, has promised that he is going to do it <laughs> he has. this weekend. He has. So Susie's going to teach me, and then I am going to teach William, and that's how it's going to work. So that then you don't have to do any of this <laughs> anymore. You can go back to you know make, keeping making that, the garden. Making fabulous. The, exactly, exactly. You don't need to worry about the tennis court. All right, so Susie, but tell me what I need. I've done this once before. Okay, so we've got a diesel pressure washer. Okay. So tap on. So tap. You're connecting it. Yeah, I see where yep. you're connecting it. Tap on. And then the hose sits in the bucket. And that takes water from that it. That takes the water, yep. Okay, okay. By the way, where can I find that hose, that one, when William comes on Saturday? It will be there. It will be there. It okay, will be okay, there. okay, cool. Okay, all right. Right. And to start... Is it like a lawnmower that you have to... You don't pull. I don't know. I don't really oh. know what that's there for. Oh, okay, ignore okay, that. okay. Ignore that. Okay. okay. So the throttle... Yeah. ...needs to go in the green zone. Yeah. Okay. To switch it on. Okay. Okay. Right. And then you take that. Okay. And if you put it in an angle, it gets up much quicker. Like this. By the way, thank God, you think that like you can only wear waders when you go into, you know, creeks or streams or whatever it is you want to go into water and fish? No. Now you know that your waders can be used for power washing anything. Thank God for my Le Chameau waders. Yes, of course we have Le Chameau is one of the sponsors of our channels and we have all of their wellies. But these have really come in handy. So thank you to Le Chameau. Um, I think it looks pretty good with my Beaufort and Blake um, blue shirt as well. Not so sure about the gloves, but they do protect my hands. <laughs> All right, let's get to, get, get to work, everybody. <laughs> the only thing that hurts is the hand, like this on here, it can get, that's why I keep swapping. And I, in between my legs, I can control it a little bit more. So that's why I'm doing it in between my legs. It, it can kind of hurt, hurt. but I, I had to experiment as to like what works, and it's really you have to get close, and then 
you have to, I just rock back and forth. And I just, and then I just put my whole body into it. And it makes my hands, believe it or not, feel better. So that is why. Not Mapperton. I was gonna do Mapperton live, but do I have time to do that, Stephen, or no? <laughs> Next scene. No, but <laughs> be sure to subscribe to Mapperton live. So hit the like button and turn notifications on, and do pick, consider becoming a patron. It's our patrons who have really helped um, us with so many of the repairs and restorations here at Mapperton, in particular the 18th century pool but there's so much more for us to do so we hope that not only will you subscribe and like and turn notifications on but you also become a Mapperton patron as well for more behind the scenes contents lots of goodies and really to be a part of the Mapperton community here in Dorset. Raymond one of my favorite things to do yep. at Mapperton it's just to catch up with you. Oh, that's good. That's yeah. nice. Yeah, Cause, yeah. Because you know what's going on. Well, I'm sort of on the ground, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> that's the way it is. Raymond is more than on the ground. On the ground. He's here all the time. Yeah. Yeah. And you're not just connected to the things, the mechanical things that aren't working. You're connected to the living species that we have here as well. Yeah. Well, yeah. you, it, if you don't sort of find out what's going on you're 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 doing something maybe doing it twice or something or two 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 different yeah. lot of people doing it but yeah we had a, a little problem with our biomass boiler yesterday um what happened well a fault came up right on the panel on the top and it said um the grate won't close which is the grate is in the bottom when the when the fire is finished yeah. the, it senses and it drops the ash out into the front we couldn't get it to come back, and I couldn't get it. And I spoke to Jim on the telephone, and we have sort of like a almost like a doctor's conversation on the phone, you know. We well, sort of diagnosing just, the patient, yeah, the patient sort of, in this case, yeah, is he the sort boiler. Of, he sort of says to me, "Press this, press that, press that." Get your stethoscope out. Well, we're not Listen quite. Listen carefully. But, yeah, and yeah. Um, so press this, press that, and he, he couldn't work it out. And he he, he thought perhaps it was the the Stoker motor. Quarter past three, he ordered one yesterday afternoon. And it was on our doorstep at half past seven this morning. Was it? Yeah. That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, so I don't know. Everyone talks about broken supply chains, but that's a pretty healthy <laughs> Someone must chain, be working all night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. The, it, it sounds as though the, the patient is up and walking yeah. again. But we've got this one fixed here quite well now. It's all, it's all running really tickety-boo in there now. That's the boiler in there, isn't it? Yeah. And we can see the flame. Yeah. And the water's flowing. And yeah. the temperature I can see on here, yeah. 75, 71 at the top, so it's yeah. pretty cold, isn't it? Yeah, if you but go... It, but it's, um, it's, it's heating up slowly. Yeah. So the hot water's gone to the top, which is yeah, why that one... that's right. Yeah. Now, Raymond, I saw something else that I thought you might know about. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just get that one out. There we go. See, there's a flu temperature up there already. Yeah, 127 degrees. Yeah. I don't think I'd like to be there. No. Um, Raymond, there's some feathers by the chicken coop. Oh yeah, well, what's happened? We think that probably the cat might have been playing a bit, bit boisterous with the cockerel, and um, the cat might have been being boisterous bit, with the cockerel. Yeah. Now again, Raymond, one of the amazing things about you is you're here at times when other people aren't here. I happen to know that you're going out to watch some wildlife tonight. Yes, I am. What are, you, what are you going to go and see? I'm going to hopefully see a couple of wild boar. Wild boar. Now, wild boar, we're not supposed to have those in England, are we? Well, hopefully we, we can go back how we were years ago. There were, used to be lots of wild boar. There did used to be lots of wild boar. They were hunted to extinction in the 1600s. That's right. Well, these wild boar that, that sort of survived around this area, if people haven't shot them, I think there were some that escaped from somewhere. And then they started breeding. With the Tamworths. With the Tamworths. And yeah. now we've got some wild boar out yeah. enjoying themselves yeah, really, in the countryside. Yeah, they are really wild. I, yeah. I've been looking at like, these wild boar off and on for about 
don't know, 12 years now. After you. Thank you. About Tw 12 years. 12 years. Well, you see, you know that part of our, pro our project for rewilding at Mapperton yeah. involves bringing yeah. back pigs. Yeah. We're not allowed to bring back wild boar because they're classed as dangerous animals under the Dangerous Animals Act. Well, here but, I... Here but, I these, but these big hairy pigs have also got tusks. Oh, yeah. Tamworth pigs cross with wild boar called an Iron Age pig. Yeah. They seem to look almost identical to wild boar. Yeah. So, but I think I think I've you, you've got to totally respect these these wild boar. Yeah. Um, stay away from them. Don't get in their space. Maybe let them know that you're there. Yeah. They'll watch you. You watch them. Yeah. And um, are you taking photographs when you're watching them, or are you just no, no, just, just there them, to enjoy? Just watching them lie in the grass for hour on end. <laughs> Watching and watching. I do actually feed them a little bit. Do you? Yeah, I have fed them. A what, what, what are their favourite things to eat? Potatoes. Potatoes, swedes. I think swedes, like, um, that sort of sugar thing. beet. Now, we've got a little bit of a, of a sight of mischief. Raymond, I can see a lot of feathers. Yeah, we, we found these. Um, Beryl and myself, we found them. And um, we looked at the feathers and found these on the floor. But wait a minute, what... What animal is this? Who's done what here? Well, this is a this is a crime scene. Well, basically. no, not actually a crime scene. We know what the poor victim is. We know the victim. <laughs> that is that is a tail feather of a of the cockerel. So and the cockerel a, yeah, has been mauled. Yeah. By some vicious animal. Well, it's not we, your wild boar, is it? No. We we think it's been. You got, you got, he's we, got a suspect, I think. We think we think it might be a playful cat, because the cat. Which playful cat? The, the big fluffy one. Well, there's two. There's yeah, the Stormy, one, which yeah. has got shorter uh, hair. Yeah, the bumble. And there's Pippa, who looks really fluffy. Yeah, that's and the one. Friendly, like a. Yeah. But well, you're telling me that she's a marauding tiger. Well, I'm not saying she's actually a marauding tiger, but she jumps on them some mornings. And well, that sounds pretty marauding she, to me. I expect, the, I expect that she might have jumped on the cock when the cock was there. Right, here we go. <laughs> we'll have a bit of fun. <laughs> Um, um, I hope I hope the cockerel came off better and gave well she we, gave Pippa a good we, you know we actually gave her some corn just now gave him some corn just now and he's eating away and he's all right he's happy he? yeah these these birds put up with a lot here at Mapperton don't they Raymond yeah they do but Raymond you see these things because you're here at these amazing times sometimes when because you're here every day and so you you sort of get a sense of the pattern of life yeah, in Mapperton, don't yeah, you? Yeah, that's right. You could tear up a calendar sometimes and yeah. just sort of go by what's happening, can't you? Yeah. And what's uh, um, what's happening at the moment that you're noticing? Spring, well, we know sort of the, birds, the birds are nesting now, aren't they? I've been hearing some really loud woodpeckers. Yeah, well, they're over there in yeah. those old ashes, I think. Yeah, the dead, they like the dead dead ashes, don't well, they? they still hack to... Yeah, they still hack away. And Somebody told me one day that they actually... Um, make about three nests right. for his partner, his female, his mate, to choose one particular nest. Really? And I thought, hang on, you're going to beat your head out for about four days, making a hole in the head for someone to say, I don't really like the view, so I'll move on to another one. <laughs> That would be like building three houses yeah. for one spouse. Yeah. And saying which one do you yeah. want, we'll just leave the other one behind. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Would you have given your wife that sort of opportunity? I probably would have. Yeah. I, I probably would have. I probably ended up with like building just the front of the house in the end, so it looked like from the road and there was nothing yeah. on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> To make it sort yeah, of Yeah, I don't know if I could build three Maptons though, that might be no, quite, that quite know, a challenge. No, it'll take you a while, it? wouldn't it? I love that view there with all those chimneys. Do you know what, Raymond? It's funny that you say that, because actually it's my favourite view yeah. of Mapperton. Yeah. Because it says something about the way in which the house evolved. Yeah. You know, no one came up with that design. No, no. Things were just added one yeah. after another, weren't yeah. they? And you've got all these different roofs yeah. and roof That's types. Right. You've got stone, Different slate. type chimneys, you yeah. Know, you know quite a few of those mullions though, don't you? Yeah, we do. You've, we uh, do. You've, you've fixed a few of those. Raymond, I think one of the wonderful things about these places is the way that each of us leave an imprint. Yeah. And I would say that almost of everybody at Mapperton, your imprint is well the most obvious and the most well, nice profound of you to say. in many ways. Nice of you to say. Yeah. Please help support this important part of England's heritage by becoming a patron at patreon.com forward slash Mapperton Live. Well, we've done it, but um, we still have obviously that bit to do over there, Andy, which I yeah. haven't done. Yeah and all around kind of there. But Andy has a really good suggestion. So you can see when you 
get all the, the, the stuff that's really sort of ground in, in. yeah ground yeah. in yeah. and then it comes up but yeah. you're still you're just spraying it on top so yeah. Andy demonstrate so we're gonna wait because the sun's out so we're gonna wait yeah. for it to dry because well, it, if not it would take so much longer yeah. wouldn't it? It's, it's almost like a double whammy because it's the it's the it's the surface at the same time so, so if, if you're pushing really hard you'll yeah. get you'll get that much <clears throat> right but then if you just do a little bit like that you'll get you'll get it even cleaner but, but we'll be here all day yeah but that is also down to <laughs> the surface now if you watch this yeah that, that's just down to the surface now this is a lot smoother and it just goes clean. What, when it's dry? No, it's because it's smooth. Oh, because it's smooth there. The yeah, I, it's yeah. nice and smooth. So this it's is, not embedded is, in. Yeah, so it would be better for this to dry out. Now we've got the sun, we've got the yeah. heat. It'd be better for this to dry out. We'll get the backpack blower. Yeah. And I reckon it will do this in, oh about, my gosh. in about four four goes and we'll get it straight through the chain link fencing onto the glass and it'll just disappear from there. Right, so you're going to get the blower out. Yeah, but not today. No, no, it not today. No, no, to we, no, and also we need to finish yeah. the rest. So I've got yeah. William coming. He's going to work on it and do it around. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, hopefully yeah. I can help you with the blower. Yeah, that's our idea. A little bit. Yeah. But that I'm going to tell you, the hardest part about that is actually holding. I know, your arms are ache. My arms are aching. Yeah. Right, it's holding yeah. that handle. But right. when there's two of you, we're kind of getting each other's way a little bit. Yeah, no, 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 you but, weren't in my way. <laughs> I think I think it was probably in Andy's way because I'm an inexperienced power washer, whatever. But um, but now I'm consider you know I think I'm sort of above beginner level now. Yeah. Don't yeah. you think? Yeah. You put, so you've got your badge. Have I elevated it to, so I can do it again next year? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah, this job is hard. I mean, we were out here for hours. Fantastic. I'll wait for it to dry and then I'll come help to brush. Yeah. 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 Okay. No okay. All right. Thanks, Andy. Okay. Cheers, Julie. So. It's not yet finished, but that was, I think, about a good almost three hours actually of work. It's, it's really it, like my hand. So now I'm just going to go straight over to the field where the sheep are because it's lambing season here. And Letty, my niece, is here and she knows all about sheep and lambs and all that good stuff, which I don't. Um, I always think people, I know a lot, but I've got to pick and choose what I need to immerse myself in. And so I'm going to leave the lambing with Claire and Letty. But I'm sure we will find something. Hi, Letty. Hi. Do you want to say hi to everybody? Hi. This is my niece, um, and Letty is going to be 12 very soon. Yes. Very soon. So this is Jemima, um, my Luke's sister's daughter. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, all right, so let's see, what are we doing today? So we're gonna go and see the lambs and I'll tell you a bit about the lambs okay. and the sheep. Okay, great. Did you wanna take No, them? you take, I'm okay. filthy. I'm, I mean, I've just come from, from you know what. Yeah. From all that. So hopefully we can play tennis quite soon. Okay, Letty, now they look very, like they don't want us to come here. They absolutely want us to come here. They do. Because I've got a whole bucket of food here. So they know. Yeah. And they're quite friendly, aren't they? Yeah, they're really friendly. Look at them, look at all of them. So how many lambs were born? So we have 10 lambs and two of them were born today. What so kind of sheep are these? So these are Jacob sheep. Right, and why are they called Jacob sheep? Or tell me because, about Jacob sheep. So they were called Jacob sheep because in the Bible, there was someone called Jacob yeah. who had who um, had all these Jacob sheep and he decided to name them after himself. Which ones were the ones that were born today? So they're in the pen right now. Oh, they're in the pen. Can we walk up there? Yeah, we can. So they should be fine if we walk up there. At they're least I'm not afraid tortured. of sheep. I'm afraid of cows, but Same. he's definitely not afraid. Look at how sweet these little lambs are. Yeah. So these two were born today. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Look at, they're already standing. Yeah. They stand like the minute they're born, so. That's pretty incredible. Now, should we feed the mother or no? Yeah, we can. Look at how sweet okay. they are. Good girl. <gasps> we had to put them in a pen because the mom's rejecting one of the lambs, which isn't what So we the mom wanted. was rejecting a lamb. Which one yeah. was she rejecting? The, the one that's back there. Right, and because that qu happens quite often, doesn't it? Well, sometimes it does, but with these ones, I think 
with our sheep, it hasn't happened a lot, which is okay. really good. Look at they're so little. Yeah, we just saw her head butting that lamb like 10 minutes ago, which isn't yeah, she, good. And so she doesn't, them. she's not letting her no. in and eating. Why not? Well, it could just be because she doesn't want another lamb. <gasps> See, she's head butting her lamb, and we, we're going to wait a few hours. And if she's still doing that, then she'll have to be bottle fed. Okay, and will you bottle feed her? Yeah. Okay. Oh my goodness. I want that little one to eat. It's quite skinny, but I guess it was only born today. Okay, let's see what happens now. Yeah, it's much skinnier than all the other ones, which isn't a good sign. Is she in there? No, she's not, which means she hasn't been drinking today, so. Mm. And little lambs need their nutrients and Yeah, milk. they do. Well, hopefully you can bottle feed. Yeah. All right. Oh, look at that little lamb. Yeah. Wants to be fed. All right, well, Letty, I think I'm going to have to go. Why don't you stay yeah. with the lambs? I'm going to go because I've got to wash up everybody. Yeah. And that was quite intense on my yeah. back. So I'm going to go do some yoga. Yep. Do some yoga, but I hope, but hopefully you can feed that. Are you excited? Yeah, I am. Have you bottle fed a lamb before? Well, I bottle fed with other farmers. Right, right. But I haven't fe bottle fed any of these lambs. <gasps> be so quite this fun. could be the first. To bottle feed, that one's so sweet. And you're gonna keep me posted. Yep. Yep, okay, it's a plan. Okay. Bye, Julie. Bye, Letty. Mm -hmm.